Before I get into the video, I just want to remind you we're on our road to 133,000 subscribers. And that's just a match 133 years of Nintendo. So I'd appreciate it if you would subscribe to the channel. We also have another giveaway event coming up on June 8th to the 11th called Prime Gaming Fest. More details on this to come soon, including a new giveaway that you'll be able to enter early. We'll get into details on this a bit later in this month. I need to finish Tears of the Kingdom first. Now, before I say anything else, I want to note this is a rumor, okay? This rumor comes from somebody who has a track record of giving us information extremely early. A lot of stuff they have said in the past has panned out, and some of the stuff hasn't panned out or hasn't panned out yet. Now, this person was given credence by other Nintendo insiders a couple of years ago, and is one reason why we do pay some attention. And we're talking about Zippo. Uh, he is someone who used to be a leaker infamous at Family Boards and Reset Era and NeoGAF and all that. And now he just does a blog every now and then. And when his blog contains information on games I'm really excited for, I want to talk about it. And today we get to talk about the next ongoings for Mario. So his blog says, that's the million dollar question, isn't it? When's the next Mario game? Nintendo not having some sort of new Mario release to go alongside the movie fell odd, didn't it? It's a move I don't quite understand. I'm, I'm reading his blog here. But I'm also not a businessman, so what do I know? That said, we're in unusual territory. There have been very few years where we've hit the fifth month of the year with no new Mario game of some sort announced. That's pretty much true. Not to worry, though, I'm hearing that Nintendo is actually sitting on multiple finished Mario games. And this goes back to a rumor last year that Nintendo is just sitting on a bunch of games like they're just done we already knew well we have proof of this Metroid Prime Remaster's release was clearly proof that they were sitting on finished games anyways he said there's of course a new 2D Mario game now look we've we haven't had a, a true new side-scrolling 2D Mario game since New Super Mario Bros. U, this is all the way back at launch of Wii U in 2012. So now that it has been over a decade, I would say it's probably time for a new 2D Mario game. Let's just be honest. Look, I know it's also been almost a decade, not quite. It's been about six years since we got Super Mario Odyssey, but we know there's another 3D Mario game coming. When's the next 2D one coming? I I'm very curious about that. I would suspect 3D Mario kicks off the next system, but I wouldn't mind a 2D Mario this holiday season or even this summer. That would be, to me, a really fun release. Mario is my second favorite IP, after all. Next up, a new sports title. So a new Mario sports title. Now, he puts Mario Sluggers in there. We've gotten a whole bunch of other ones, so Sluggers is probably what makes sense to go next, especially since we got Strikers already. Sort of feels like that would be the next game to get a sports entry. And then he teases another game, and this one is Paper Mario, The Thousand Year Door, Remake slash Remaster. He says, yes, the rumors are real, as I alluded to at the very beginning of the year. There is indeed a remaster for A Thousand Year Door coming, and it's already finished. Intelligent Systems truly lived up to their name. I tell you, they are true miracle workers. Now, again, this is something I've heard as well, and we've reported on from other sources. So, look... People have been wanting this game to come back forever. So it's really hard to believe it until it's here. But damn, wouldn't it be fun to have Thousand Year Door to play this upcoming holiday? I don't know. I'm just throwing it out there that this is something that I massively desire. And I'm just really hoping these rumors are true. And then the last game. And this one is probably the most plausible of them all. Uh, we're talking about Mario and Sonic. Okay. Okay. There are very believable rumors and job postings pointing out that a new game in the ever-popular Mario and Sonic series, which would make sense as we're about a year out from the 2024 Olympic Games in Paris, and about two mascots not missing a single summer game yet. So, kind of alluding that it would be next summer that we would get a Mario and Sonic game, and that it's already done, and they'll just make adjustments for it as they need to for the upcoming Olympics, which isn't really surprising, the Mario and Sonic uh, at the Olympic Games is, is generally a pretty fun mini game pack, but not everyone is, you know, super, super stoked about that. Now, here's the thing. The future of Mario I find to be fascinating because Nintendo's been leaning really hard on a few things. One, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, right? We, we know we have two more waves of DLC, and Mario Kart 8, for those unaware, is a Wii U game. 
You want to talk about a decade since the last game? We're almost a decade since the last Mario Kart game. Let that sink in for a moment. It's been almost a decade. Now, you could argue, of course, Mario Kart Tour on your phones or Mario Kart Home Circuit. Those are certainly Mario Kart games, and I'm not going to deny that they're part of the franchise, but clearly that's not like the next, you know, the, the follow-up to Mario Kart 8, because if those were the follow-ups to Mario Kart 8, they would be doing big numbers. Now, Mario Kart Tour actually does pretty good on phones, but Mario Kart Home Circuit in particular, they would be the ones selling tens of millions of copies, not Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. So I do think that there is some sort of new Mario Kart in the works. I don't know when it's going to come. It's clearly, at this point, going to be for the next platform. And look, you, you talk about that, then you look at the 3D Mario side. Yeah, we got Bowser's Fury. Bowser's Fury added in with Super Mario 3D World was a really, really great side dish. You know, it, it is a game unto itself. You don't need to play Super Mario 3D World to play it. And it plays differently than Super Mario 3D World does. So it is a weird side dish in that it doesn't necessarily fit in. It fits more in with with uh, Odyssey, really, if we're honest. They could have released this as Odyssey DLC and no one would, would, would actually no one would have bat an eye. They probably would have loved it. So what I find fascinating here is that we technically haven't had a full-on new 3D Mario since the end of 2017 either, and we're entering a pretty damn long gap. Now, I will note, we don't have a ton of 3D Mario games. If you remember Super Mario 3D All-Stars, what did that feature, right? You know, you had the N64 Mario games, Super Mario 64. You had Sunshine in there, and you had Galaxy. Do you know how many other 3D Mario games there are? Galaxy 2 and Super Mario Odyssey. That's it. That's less 3D Mario games than we have 3D Zelda games. Just letting that sink in that having big gaps between 3D uh, Mario games isn't exactly odd. We had a massive gap from, you know, Galaxy 2 to, to Odyssey. So I, I think we just need to sit in, I don't know, some, someone's going to try to argue, argue Super Mario 3D World. I, dude, I'm... I don't want to get into Super Mario 3D World. All right, by the way, Super Mario 3D World is an absolutely fantastic game. I don't want you guys to think I'm forgetting about it or sliding it. It's a, it's a follow-up to Super Mario 3D Land. I get it. And maybe even Nintendo counts those as 3D Mario games. They put 3D in the name, right? But I just, come on. They're not the same type of game. They're like the mid, They're like the 2.5D. They're like the Link's Awakening remake, right? They are the 2.5D in-between Mario game that crosses both boundaries because it provides gameplay aspects reminiscent of both styles, right? From a I, not quite isometric, but, uh, you know, that little side perspective view. Again, I love the games, by the way. I don't think there's anything wrong with the games. Unlike some people who actually aren't a big fan of Super Mario 3D World for some reason. I actually think these games are fantastic, but let's just, let's be fair. Let's be honest. Those aren't quite like Galaxy or Odyssey, right? They don't really fit in those categories. Don't necessarily fit in the 2D side-scrolling categories either. I feel like those almost started their own category of Mario games, and I'm sort of sad to see that category hasn't had a new entry in a while. So maybe, maybe we get a new one of those. I don't know. All I know is that we are due for Mario goodness. This much is true. This much is known. The Mario movie's over a bill. It's climbing quickly up that top 10 animated grossing box office films of all time. Gotta capitalize, Nintendo. So hopefully these rumors are true. I wouldn't mind if all four of these games drop this year. Although I think Sonic and Mario at the Olympic Games would be safe for 2024. So it can release the same year as the Olympics. The Summer Olympics anyways. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. And I'll catch you in the next video.